hi hello welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Quisha. on this channel i like to do makeup mukbangs and more y'all today is a makeup day i am showing you guys my favorite primers to use in the fall and the winter as the weather changes your skin reacts differently to makeup so you want to make sure that you're using the right primers for your skin and for the weather so if you want to know my favorite primers for the fall and winter please keep watching how you doing y'all all right I'm good y'all a little crampy but I'm good let's go so before we get started I do want to talk about like what kind of skin I have what type of finish I like for my makeup that way if you're the same then these primers will work well for you and I'm also going to give some options for different skin types and other type of makeup finishes that other people might like just some good primer suggestions. I have combination skin. I get oily around my T-zone and I'm pretty much dry everywhere else, especially like um especially like around my mouth, I get very dry. And like on my cheeks towards the bottom, I tend to get very dry. For my makeup finish, I like a skin-like soft matte type of a finish slightly dewy so those are the type of primers i tend to use i have a couple of mattifying primers but i don't reach for them that much especially in the fall and the winter i don't like to look dry and cold <laughs> does that make sense i don't want to be looking like dry and shivering and just like this no it doesn't work for me so i like a very natural finish slightly moisturizing in the fall and winter time let's go ahead and get started now these primers are in no particular order but i will make sure to let y'all know which ones are my favorite ones okay y'all know i always do all right firstly let's do i'm gonna go with one of my favorite primers this is the tatcha silk canvas primer i love this primer it gives you it does a really good job of smoothing the skin, blurring out the pores, and it creates a great base for your makeup to cling to. It's called a filter finish primer, which basically is saying like, you know, when you take pictures or in videos, you're gonna look like you already put a filter on. And I definitely agree with that about this primer. It's just an amazing primer now. It is a little bit pricey, so I have a dupe here for y'all. A pretty much exact dupe is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. They both give the same type of a finish and they both have the same type of a feel. The only difference is I would say the Tatcha Silk Canvas is a little bit smoother than the e.l.f. Poreless Putty, but for the price, you might as well get this one if you're trying to save a little bit of money. I do know that Sephora has these in smaller sizes for $20 and I would just highly recommend getting that one because y'all, I've had this one for so long and I still am working my way through this. It's taking forever. I mean, I'm not mad about it. I'm very happy that I have this primer. It's it's honestly an amazing primer. This is one I highly recommend. Also, it's not drying or anything like that. It's moisturizing. It feels really good and light on the skin. I also really like the smell of this. That's a very soft, light, clean smell. It smells really good. The e.l.f. one, I don't believe has an, I don't believe the e.l.f. one has an odor. No, this is pretty much odorless, which I like too. Y'all know I'm funny about scents, so. Y'all, something has been in my eye for like 10 minutes and every time I go to look for it, I cannot find it. Who are you and what are you doing in my eye? It's probably a piece of dang glitter. It's like when I go to mess with it, it leaves and then when I start talking, it comes back. Okay, so next up is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. I also want to say a lot of my primers are going to be small size because I have so many primers. So I just tend to buy the little ones because I got too many primers, y'all. It's ridiculous. If I really like it, I buy the full size like the Tatcha and I will be buying the full size of this soon. So this is the Milk Makeup Hydra Grip. It's exactly like the name sounds. It's hydrating and it helps the makeup. It creates almost like a sticky finish but not like disgustingly stick or anything that just like a, a nice tacky surface for your makeup to stick to it's not going anywhere and this provides hydration without being overly hydrating or moisturized you're not gonna look sweaty or extra dewy or anything like that next up i have the bobby brown this is such a long name let me read this y'all this is the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base it's a mouthful this is another pricey primer I love the smell of it. It smells like lemony and clean. I really like the smell of this, but besides the smell, this also is, I might even have to say I like this more than the Tatcha Soap Canvas. It's just, ugh, it's a perfect primer. It is so moisturizing, again, without being overly moisturizing. It is gonna give you more of a dewy look than the Tatcha Soap Canvas, so you're, if you're not trying to look too dewy, I would go, I would stick with the Tatcha instead of this one, because this one does give a little bit more of that shiny hydrated look it also has vitamin e in it it's 
a really good primer this it doesn't do the best job at blurring out the pores but it does provide a really nice base for the skin i would not use this necessarily to blur out my pores i would use this more so to provide a hydrated moisturizing nice base it doesn't have those like little balls that when you rub up on it it just goes on very smoothly almost like a moisturizer but a little thicker now the next one is a mattifying primer but it's not like suck you dry matte okay <laughs> this is the pores be gone matte primer with fig extract <sighs> oh my gosh like i said i don't use a ton of matte primers but when i use this primer it not only blurred the pores it provided a decent amount of mattifying without being like hmm okay i'm gonna talk a little trash on one of my mattifying primers but whatever so the mattest matte primer one could ever have is the becca ever matte poreless primer i don't know if anybody is y'all know if you know this thing is like if you are an extra oily or if you are a very oily person this is going to be your mattifying primer i don't use this that often because it is too mattifying it almost makes my skin look dry and patchy in some places this pores be gone by hello fab does not do that this is i'm sorry did i mention this was by first aid beauty hello fab is what it's called sorry if i forgot that but it's mattifying without being like leaving you dry and patchy this would be a mattifying primer that i would wear during the winter and the fall <sighs> it's perfect so like i said it does do a really good job of blowing out the pores mattifying the skin but also giving you a little bit of moisture and i think that comes from the fig extract really really nice primer did i mention this is my favorite mattifying primer if i didn't i'm saying it right now i'm, I'm sorry y'all i'm all over the place i'm hungry and i feel like i'm repeating myself <laughs> oh my gosh and there is still something in my eye now next up is a very hydrating dewy type of a primer this is the touch and soul glassy skin balm love love this primer this is very moisturizing and this is going to give you that dewy look now i do like to pair this with a matte or a soft matte foundation so that way i'm not looking extra dewy and extra shiny i would not pair this with a hydrating foundation unless you have like extra dry skin and that's going to work great for you but for me it's going to make me look super oily and like very shiny so i really really like the way this looks when it's paired with a mattifying or even a soft matte foundation <sighs> very nice y'all know i ordered another one of these from boxy charm i liked it so much and they still haven't gotten back to me on the whereabouts of my second one of these just putting it out there i'm waiting for another one that's how much i like it and this one is still very full it's still very full I like the smell too it's nice and soft okay my battery's dying so i'm going to talk about one more primer primer that you can never go wrong with in my opinion this is the fenty beauty pro filter primer i would say this is like it gives you like more of a soft matte finish very skin like finish this primer i love the smell of this primer i've used this primer with all types of foundations and it looks good with every single foundation i've used so this says this is for all skin types which i love it doesn't break me out i also have sensitive skin i don't know if i mentioned that but all of the primers that i've mentioned have not broken me out and i have very sensitive skin so this foundation does a really good job of um, smoothing out the pores it also um, takes down the shine a little bit without being over Really mattifying it literally says it's called a like a it's another one of those filter primers it gives you that very blurred very beautiful natural look so fenty beauty the instant retouch primer i have the mattifying one here i have not yet tried it so i'm not going to talk about it just yet og love it great primer i believe that's all the primers i have to talk about with y'all let me look over these um an honorable mention is the where did you go don't do this to me while my battery's dying. An honorable mention is the Hourglass Veil Primer. This is another one of those smoothing ones. This reminds me a lot of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Does a good job of blurring out the pores, giving you that skin-like finish. Love, love, love this primer. One more that I'm going to mention is the Benefit Porefessional. This is another slightly mattifying pore blurring primer. 
I almost got tripped up on that, y'all. Final primer that I will always use and always have is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. See, this is why I keep small ones. I just keep getting these in little samples and stuff, so I don't have a need to buy the big one. When I do, I will. I do have a big professional here. I just haven't opened it yet. The Bobbi Brown one, I'm gonna talk about the ones that I'm gonna buy the full size of, the ones that I already don't have full size of. The Bobbi Brown one, I will buy the full size once I use it all. I've used, I've had this for a while and I don't see myself running out of this anytime soon, which is fine with me because this is expensive. I already have the full size of this. I have the full size of, I have the full size of Tatcha. The Hydro Grip, I will be buying the full size when I run out of this and I'm absolutely getting the full size of this Pores Be Gone one, y'all. Amazing. I didn't mention this, but this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer is the one that I'm wearing on my face today and I use this paired with the MAC, um, what is this called? This is the MAC Studio Fix Soft Matte Foundation Stick. So these two together is what's on my face right now. And I, and I think for, in my opinion, this is the perfect type of makeup finish that you want in the winter. You just look a little dewy. You look moisturized. You don't look like dry and cold and you know what I'm saying? I know y'all know what I'm trying to say. You know, <laughs> listen, I'm all for a matte face. For me, preferably, I prefer that more in the summertime. I like to look hydrated and moisturized in the winter now. I did give y'all some matte options in there if you like a matte face because listen, there's nothing wrong with having your face beat. There's nothing wrong with rocking a matte face in the winter. Just me personally, I don't like to look super dry in the winter time. I hope that makes sense and I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have some primer suggestions that you want me to try out or ones that you think I would like, please let me know in the comments down below. Do you have any of these primers? Are they are any of the primers that I mentioned your favorite? Y'all let me know in the comments down below. If you have any other primer questions or video suggestions that you would like to see from me, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching y'all. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I go live every other Sunday for makeup and mimosas. I will put the date of my next live at the top of the screen here. Grab you a drink and join me. It is so much fun. If you like celebrity gossip and housewives recaps, please join my other channel. Now we've said it, it is also a podcast. I'll put all the information in the description box down below. Subscribe to me if you haven't already, and please be sure to hit that post notification bell so that you never miss an upload from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video video. Bye!